hello friends what's up people welcome to our channel uh, in this channel we talk about kiswahili language um in this channel we have uploaded many videos that have kiswahili content we believe we can help you to uh, speak kiswahili even when you don't know anything so what to do hit the subscribe button down there so that whenever we upload a video you will be able to uh, benefit hamjambo marafiki karibuni katika channel yetu uh, uh, tunaamini kwamba tunaweza kukusaidia katika maswala ya Kiswahili iwapo ujui kuongea Kiswahili atunao uwezo wa kukusaidia katika kuelewa kuisoma na hata kuongea lugha ya Kiswahili uh, tunakuomba kwamba uh, ubonyeze kile kidonde kilichoko hapo chini kimeandikwa subscribe ili wakati ambapo tutaweza uh, kuweka video kama hii utaweza uh, kuipata pale na pia utaweza uh, ku, uh, kuchangia katika kukua kwa chaneli hii um, in our last lesson we talked about uh, uh, the origin of swahili and uh, we mentioned three theories three theories that try to explain the origin of swahili the first theory uh, we said it says that uh, kiswahili is a bantu language the second uh, theory stated that kiswahili is an arabic language and uh, uh, the last theory stated that kiswahili is a mixture of bantu languages and foreign languages uh, leo tunazungumzia uh, chimbuko la Kiswahili uh, kumbuka kwamba katika kipindi chetu kilichopita uh, tulizungumzia uh, swala hili tukataja kwamba tukasema nadharia zile tatu moja husema Kiswahili ni lugha ya kibantu ya pili nadharia ya pili husema Kiswahili ni lugha ya Kiarabu uh, na nadharia ya tatu husema kwamba Kiswahili ni lugha ambayo ni mchanganyiko mchanganyiko wa lugha za kigeni na lugha uh, za kimbantu um, today we are talking about one theory that is uh, Kiswahili is an Arabic language hivi leo tunazungumzia uh, nadharia ile ambayo inasema Kiswahili uh, ni uh, lugha ya Kiarabu uh, in our ex explanation uh, according to the theory is that Kiswahili is not an Arabic language because even before the coming of the Arabs in East African coast um Kiswahili language was there it was used uh, in conducting business activities among the people who were living in East African coast uh, tunasema kwamba si kweli kusema kwamba lugha ya Kiswahili ililetwa na wa Waarabu katika Afrika Mashariki hii ni kwa sababu kwamba lugha ya Kiswahili ilikuwa inatumika katika shughuli za kibiashara pale katika upeo wa Afrika Mashariki. Uh, katika ile pwani ya Afrika Mashariki wale wa Afrika walikuwa pale wale ambao walikuwa na wanaishi pale walikuwa wanatumia lugha ya Kiswahili. Another uh, explanation is that uh, Arabic Arab Arabic people or Arabs are traveled to many places in uh, in Africa and uh, the Kiswahili language did not develop there the Kiswahili language developed only in 
East African coast. Uh, this proves that the Arabs did not spread, uh, did not spread uh, Kiswahili language in other parts of uh, the African continent. This tells us that if they were the ones who uh, owed the language, they could have made the language to spread even in those other countries in, in Africa. But because now the Kiswahili language developed in uh, East African coast, it tells that this language originated from them. Tunasema kwamba, luga Kiswahili iliweza tu kukua na ku na kuendelea katika Afrika Mashariki inamaanisha kwamba lugha ya Kiswahili ilitoka pale Afrika katika pwani ya Afrika Mashariki tunakuomba kwamba you subscribe so that you'll watch the next video thank you for watching